Hello, and welcome to the Halton Youth for Pride 2021 event today. To start, we would first like to acknowledge that our event is situated on traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, Headed Wands, and the Huron Wadet, now home to many First Nations, Inuit, and Metis people. We acknowledge that the current treaty holders, the Mississauga of the First Credit Nation, we also recognize the lasting presence and deep traditional knowledge and viewpoints of the indigenous land with whom we share this land. We have gathered here today, virtual and online, because on April 26, the Halton Catholic District School Board made a decision not to raise the pride flag for the month of June. This decision shows that the Halton Catholic District School Board does not believe in treating all students as equal or in education without discrimination. This decision is more about than just a flag. It's about the acceptance of the two SLGBTQ plus students who deserve an accessible education just like any other child. The two SLGBTQ plus community should not be ashamed of who they are. The students and facilities of the Halton Catholic District School Board should be able to love who they want to love and should not be ashamed of who they are. No one should be ashamed of who they are. Children are being shamed, bullied, and put to silence. And as a school board, it is their job to allow them to be who they really are and not give in to these hateful acts. This silence teaches the people that unless they are cisgendered and heterosexual, they are wrong. Police reported hate crimes targeting sexual orientation increased 41% in 2019 to 263 incidences. And 75% of reported police crimes in Canada were all related to sexual orientation. More and more people are coming out as part of the 2SLGBTQ plus community because they're starting to feel more comfortable in their society. However, the Catholic Digital School Board is not flying the flag and avoids developing a curriculum that educates the LGBT topics. According to PreventNet, Canada's authority on bullying, approximately 4% of teens identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, or questioning. These kids are more likely to be victims of bullying, harassment, sexual harassment, abuse, and face a greater risk of social isolation. This is why school boards need to actively support their students. One former student, Alicia, says, In a world where these youth are being told to spend all their time repressing their feelings and their true identities, we need to build a community where they feel more comfortable and safe to voice their truth and fly their flag with pride. The rainbows are a symbol of hope in many cultures. This is why it is so important to raise the flag at high schools and public locations throughout the city and globe. This has been a driving force for the 2SLGBTQ plus community for decades, during which they have been prosecuted, punished for something they didn't do and they don't have control over, and something they shouldn't have control over. So it's time to ask ourselves, why is straight love portrayed as right and pure, but the LGBTQ plus love is frowned upon and seen as the exact opposite? Flying the flag is much more than a symbol of support. It's about letting students know they are accepted and loved for who they are. And that's why we don't have to change. Which is why I stand proudly with other students and say, there's nothing wrong with you. There's a lot wrong with the world you live in. Why has the Catholic District School Board decided not to rise the flag? Halton Catholic District School Board trustees have voted against flying the flag at its schools after a lengthy discussion that was weighed down by pr protocol, wriggling, and numerous attempts at amendment. The debate started after Burlington trustee Bruin Brenda Agron moved a motion to direct board staff to ensure the flag is flown during Pride Month at June at all schools and board's headquarters. The motion sparked debate among several trustees who raised issues that were ensuring all groups would have access to flying flags. The need to erect secondary school polls and how chaplains and other staff can provide some better support. Roland Jesse Vincent Lanrosi said the boards need a formal policy on flags, adding the Canadian flag serves as an unmistakable symbol of unity and inclusivity for all Canadians. Amber, how do HCDSB students feel about the decision not to fly the flag? Nicole Hotchkiss, 
A student that attends one of the Catholic schools in Halton stated the following when they heard the negative outcome about the decision to not fly the flag. I am disappointed. I am repulsed by the extensive amendments made which gutted the original motion. At one point, Trustee O'Brien removed the entire motion in replacement of doing nothing at all. This motion, when brought to the attention of the student body, has caused great backlash with over 15,000 signatures on a petition asking the Catholic District School Board to fly the flag. So, Leisha, where do teachers stand on this topic? According to Inside Halton, the Halton chapter of the Ontario English Catholic Teachers Association sent a letter on behalf of 3,000 members in support of the motion to fly the pride flag in June. What are the parents saying about the decision to not fly the flag or to not post the safe sign in each class? Here's a quote from a parent. Honestly, I can't actually believe this is even a conversation. The fact that there's a vote needing to take place to show support is even mind-blowing. I have two queer children, and every space they are in, or their siblings are in, must be supportive, inclusive, and affirming. Social media is an amazing vehicle for spreading information and getting support. I am proud of our community for committing to using the online platform to spread this important message. That comes from Julia Cole. Looking on the website of All Eyes Are On the Catholic School Board, it is clear that many parents are in support of the flag being risen at a school and are ultimately repulsed by the final outcome. However, there were other families who vocalized not wanting the flag to be raised. According to a story in the Toronto Star, Maria Fleece, who said, who said she has two daughters who went to Holland Catholic School Board said, when it comes to flying the pride flag, it's not right to be promoting a lifestyle that is opposed to the Catholic teaching. What impact would raising the flag make amongst the two SLGBTQ plus students? Flying the flag pride symbolizes support for the 2SLBGTQ plus community. Not only does this act create a notion that our schools are safe for everyone, regardless of race, religion, gender, sexuality, and more, but it also sets a precedent for other Catholic school boards, showing them that our, our unwavering support for our students and raises awareness. Having said that, the, the, Catholic, the Halton Catholic District School Board refusal to fly the flag sent an opposing message. It puts into question the legitimacy of their words of support and could leave students with a sense of doubt and uncertainty. Why is the Catholic District School Board able to have a rainbow day but will not fly the flag? It appears that even in the midst of overwhelming pressure from students, parents, and Halton community members alike, the Halton Catholic District School Board refuses to fly the flag. At the beginning of Pride Month this year, the Catholic School Board announced through their social media accounts that they would be raising awareness around Pride Month with a HCDSB rainbow day. Meaning, instead of showing a sign of visible support for students, the board believes that wearing colorful t-shirts is good enough. Countless students have expressed their disdain for this failed attempt to support the LGBTQ community since then, with several stating that Rainbow Day is, is an example of performative activism. Additionally, many view the recent posts about Pride Month made by the Catholic School Board as damage control and an attempt to understate the harm that they have caused to their students and the LGBTQ plus community. So Gabrielle, I'm wondering, who can students reach out to if they need help expressing their thoughts on the 2SLGBTQ plus community? Guidance counselors, trusted adults, friends, and family. Local organizations that can help include Positive Space Network, PFLAG, Halton. How can we support two SLGBTQ plus students? Well, we can all let our fellow students know that we love and accept them regardless of their sexuality and gender, and that regardless of what the board says or does, us students will stand as a united front. It is important to make the spaces we occupy safer by shutting down harmful comments and mentalities and promoting equity. Statements like, what did you mean by that? Or we don't talk like that here. Or I'm not sure what gave you the impression to have that you can have this sort of conversation with me. Or even just simply stop our boundary setting statements that could help combat the culture of silence. We can listen to our 2SLGBTQ plus friends and classmates when they need to talk. We can keep an eye out for folks in our classrooms, hallways, and lunchrooms 
who may be alone or isolated, and we may ask them to choose and sit with us and include them. And most importantly, we can ask each individual what is the best way to support them. What are the negative effects on the students and the board? In K-12 schools, safe spaces and trauma-informed practices help students learn to self-regulate and process negative emotions like anger and sadness. They're able to develop long-term self-management abilities that make room for academic success as they get older. When we begin with inclusive K-12 classrooms, we are able to provide our students with the tools they need to survive in a complex world. So Advocates for Youth states that 6 to 10% of the young people in your school may be part of the LGBTQ plus community. And as such, unless your program positively acknowledges their presence and actively affirms their rights and dignity, these young people may feel compelled to keep their sexual identity a secret. And having to keep a secret like that puts these young people at risk and damages their mental health. What can we do so that Halton Catholic District School Board will fly the flag next year? It is clear that continued efforts to advocate for flag raising and inclusive education must happen as more Catholic boards across the province begin to fly the flag. We are hopeful that the momentum will have a positive ripple effect. It is also to remember youth and adults have a voice. We can communicate to our student trustees, write to our board, and vote for our school trustees. Who can I or other people reach out to if they are in need of support? The Canadian Mental Health Association says that a positive and supportive workplace and neighborhood is a key factor in the well being of LGBTQ individuals. There are many organizations and resources that individuals can access to help them feel safe and welcome. The Kids Help Phone is an organization where children and youth ages 5 to 20 can reach out to trained counselors. Their number is 1-800-668-6868. The LGBTQ plus youth line is another great resource for people who need to talk. They are open Sunday to Friday and you can feel free to call them from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. at 1-800-628-9688. If calling is not an option for you, or if you would prefer to text, feel free to do so from 4 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. at 647-964-4725.